ourselves were seeing a slight problem with in-house Atreides. All, all Atreides. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. The planet is Arrakis, also known as Dune. I will have Arrakis back for myself! He who controls the spice controls the universe! Oh, the slow blade penetrates the shield. Run! The first step in avoiding a trap is knowing of its existence. And he'll know, he'll know that it is I, and Vladimir Harkonnen, who encompasses his doom. <laughs> Tell me of your homeworld, Lucy. You are transparent. I see plans within plans. One will come, the voice from the outer world, bringing the holy war, the Shihad, which will cleanse the universe. My lord, I suspect an incredible secret has been kept on this planet, that the Fremen exist in vast numbers. Vast. And it is they who control Arakis. I'll miss the sea. Hey guys, so what I'm doing here is I'm just painting the painting the discs. These are my discs here. Don't want to touch them because I'm all okay. And these are going to have the whatever they're called, you know, the leadership tokens on them. There's the front and back, so there's six for each person. Mm -hmm. Now the way I'm doing it is I'm using a large brush, so I can just do nice big strokes to try and reduce the brush strokes actually on the, mm -hmm. the pug. Now this is the white undercoat. It's important to undercoat wooden uh, chits because uh, you can have all sorts of streaking involved and like, different parts of the wood will soak up uh, at different, you know, levels, basically. You know, like different amounts of paint. So, what you do is you just get the brush and you just paint across and then paint the other direction because basically the grain will flow one direction or the other. Sometimes it curves, but usually it flows left or right in orthogonal ways and paint will seep into the cracks differently so you want to paint across the grain I mean against the grain and then you paint the final coat across the grain because that will produce a less amount of streaks I'm using uh, just a, a standard white acrylic paint this is I don't know what the hell they call it basically there's two types of acrylic paints you can buy Make sure you get the one that, just ask the girl in the shop or the guy in the shop and say, I want the acrylic paint that doesn't leave streaks because there's a, there's, there are, acrylic paint can be very thick. Uh, and the thicker it is, that's for when you're, you know, you're painting on canvas and you're, oh, I'm going to paint all over my phone. That's when you're going, when you're painting on canvas and you want your brush strokes to actually be inside the paint, you know, like really thick paint with the brush strokes inside. So you don't want that paint. And to top it off, I'm just using my normal uh, miniature painting palette, which is just a white blank uh, bathroom tile. Okay, so that's the first coat of the first one's done. Now, this paint isn't cheap, unfortunately. I think it's like six bucks a box. It's not too expensive, but what I like to do is I put a blob and then I paint until that blob has run out. And then I'll let these dry. I'll flip them over, paint the other side, and with any left, paint them, and that's the way, that's the way Tragic does it. Okay, so, how's this all going? 
Uh, I've got my brush under this lamp trying to dry it. <laughs> and I'm painting the yellow ones now. I've got some more white ones going. Using too much paint as always. Now I'm sticking them on this tile. I really need to get more tiles because <laughs> you can see like they all stuck to the freaking paper and uh, most of these have been sort of fixed as much as I could. If I can find one that's busted. You can see this one here because if I can get that in focus like the paper ripped and sort of ripped the paint off it and then there was a dint in the paint so I've tried pretty hard but over here we have some finished orange ones looking pretty good well they're not finished they're almost finished they haven't been lacquered with the spray except I might buy a different spray and actually get a a gloss one because these are kind of glossy. See that shine? So it would, it would be nice to get a similar shine and make them look more plasticky. But uh, that's pretty much the finished things. Over here I'm doing some more cutouts. I'm doing the orange cutouts there. So, uh, okay, well that's about it. So I got a little slack with recording this stuff, but these are just some photos. What you're looking at here is my, look, it's kind of like a, a cardboard tray that I use for when I do my miniature paintings, just so I can very quickly spray paint them with the airbrush to get them all, you know, undercoated. And I've put the finished pugs inside this little cardboard tray, and I'm just spraying it with the adhesive to seal it. That makes it waterproof and it also makes it, uh, you know, like the, the colours won't run. And also, I think it's going to help with the adhesive because the adhesive isn't the strongest, I don't think. And here we just have a finished close-up of the dried, sealed pieces. This is the final product. And as you can see, uh, I didn't bother mixing the primary colours and the orange is a little bit stronger than the actual pre-painted pieces that I got from the parts store, like they're the little ones, but uh, I think it's uh, it's good enough for this attempt. Okay, so this is uh, the board that I've been making. I'll show you some close-ups in a sec. Uh, this is just what I'm using for the backing. Whoa. It's just a normal cardboard and you can see what I've done is I've spray painted the back of it black because this is going to be the back of the board and oh, it's going to end up looking like this now you can see there's a bit of speckling on it but it doesn't matter it looks fine uh, remember it's going to be like this so you can't see it anyway and I've just printed these out on gloss A4 adhesive paper and then I stick it to them now I should when we're doing the next lot I'll film it being done because there's an error in these I'll talk about in a sec but you just kind of pick up the corner you just pick up the corner it's hard to do it with one hand and you stick it down and then you slowly push it up like this and as you're pushing it you get a sponge and just go <laughs> to get rid of the the spots and you end up with something like this. And then I just used a black texture, you know, like a Sharpie. This one's only half done to uh, color in the sides. And that's pretty much how we're doing the boards. Now I'm just using this spray paint called Fiddly Bits. I got it from a place called Bunnings, which is like a big massive hardware store. Cost $2.50. And then I got this from an art supply store. This is a clear acrylic matte spray to seal it and make it waterproof. And this was about 30 bucks though. So it's quite large. And I actually spray all the parts will be sprayed with that as well. These haven't been sprayed. And uh, yeah, well that's it. 
Now here's the board itself, kind of what it's going to look like in the finished product. Uh, over here you can see some of the more pugs I'm doing now. There's a huge error, unfortunately. They look pretty good. When I do the adhesive, you do the adhesive to both sides, obviously. But if you look down, you see it didn't print out right. See how that doesn't match up? It's missing a bit of the R and the, the third uh, circle isn't a sphere. It's because when it printed, it actually didn't print fully on the page. It cropped a bit off. So I've got to redo the whole bloody thing, it's so annoying. These are the final pugs that I haven't done. The blues have been a Jesuits with the double side and everything else is just uh, Harkonnen and uh, the guild of uh, Harkonnen and stuff. Anyway, here are some finished pugs that are completely done. Uh, they haven't been sealed though. I'll seal them in a sec. And they're looking pretty good. These are just printed exactly like the see the one the see the ones printed there. Whoops, just dropped one. And then I just stick one on either side and that's uh, they're going to be the actual pieces that you play on the game board for your units and these are the warrior pieces now if you don't have the game you place them face down and you flip them up you go woo plus ten plus four woo plus ten you know to your uh, battles they're your uh, your generals basically so they go down hidden and you flip them over and uh, yeah well that's that's it we ourselves were seeing a slight problem with in-house Atreides. All, all Atreides. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. The planet is Arrakis, also known as Dune. I would have a Arrakis back for myself! He who controls the spice, controls the universe! Oh. The slow blade penetrates the shield. Run! Run! I must not fear. And fear is the mind killer. The first step in avoiding a trap is knowing of its existence. And he'll know! He'll know! That is I! And Vladimir Hartman, who encompasses his doom! <laughs> Tell me of your homeworld, Usa. Hello, Hello. 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 You are transparent. I see plans within plans. One will come. The voice from the outer world. Bringing the holy war, the Shihad, which will cleanse the universe. My lord, I suspect an incredible secret has been kept on this planet. That the Fremen exist in vast numbers. Vast. And it is they who control Arakis. I'll miss the sea.